around 8 million people in Germany suffer from diabetes. Of these, 95% have type 2 diabetes, while 5% are type 1 diabetics. Although type 2 diabetes is caused by factors including obesity and insulin resistance, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. Diabetes is caused by the loss or dysfunction of insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas. This can lead to serious secondary diseases. Stem cell researcher Heiko Lickert hopes to develop new treatments for diabetes, stem cell therapies and regenerative therapies. Type 1 diabetes results from the destruction of pancreatic beta cells which means we need to replace them. In people with type 2 diabetes, the beta cells are destroyed due to the constantly elevated blood sugar levels and the many lipids and fats in the metabolism. The cells lose their function. But in this case, we can use medication in an effort to protect the beta cells against stress or even try to regenerate the patient's beta cell function. The biologist is conducting research into potential ways to treat both types of diabetes at the Helmholtz Zentrum München. Lickert hopes to use stem cells to produce beta cells in a laboratory, which could then be transplanted into a patient. To create new beta cells that could produce insulin in a diabetic patient's body, researchers need to differentiate pluripotent stem cells. After several steps in the cultivation process, these stem cells become beta cells. However, in the case of type 1 diabetes patients, the body's own immune system poses a problem because it would attack the transplanted cells as foreign bodies. So, how could these cells be protected? Yes, in beta cell replacement therapy, stem cells solve the problem of finding an organ donor. What we haven't solved, of course, is the issue of organ rejection, which occurs with all organ transplants. This is when foreign beta cells are transplanted into a patient and their body identifies them as foreign matter. This means we need to protect the cells to be transplanted. There are various approaches. One option would be to encapsulate the cells, so that the immune system doesn't see them and attack them. Another approach would be genetic manipulation of the stem cells, which would effectively make them invisible to the immune system. When it comes to therapies for diabetes, the stem cell researcher and his team have no shortage of ideas. In fact, Lickout hopes to use an entirely new regenerative approach to restore healthy function in the diseased pancreatic cells of type 2 diabetics. To do that, we need to understand the molecular principles at work. We need to find molecular footholds and develop medications that can trigger these regenerative mechanisms in diabetes patients' bodies. Lickard's team has discovered a previously unknown receptor on beta cells, which opens up the possibility of new ways to treat diabetes with medication, the insulin inhibitory receptor, Inceptor. Blocking Inceptor's functions significantly increases the sensitivity of the insulin signaling pathway in pancreatic beta cells. This could regenerate beta cells functions and thereby help the body to halt the diabetes itself. Heiko Lickert's motivation is clear to see. The wonderful thing about research, of course, is that if you're successful, it will hopefully end up helping somebody. In the case of our research, it would be patients with diabetes, a condition for which there is unfortunately no cure at present.